Hey, welcome to the Parents Guide to Children Orthopedics. In this video channel, we'll explain common children orthopedic problems and try to answer the commonly asked questions by the parent in a clinic. Please subscribe to our channel so that you'll get our regular updates. And now the operation has finished and the nail in a place. There are a few uh, issues that we need to pay attention after the uh, surgery. First, wound healing. And number two, physiotherapy exercises. And number three is lengthening of the bone. And here we're going to have more details on the lengthening of the bone. Before you discharge or shortly after you get discharged, you should have received this manual, which is called the Fit Bone Control Set Manual. Uh, first, make sure that the de your details are written correctly here. Uh, name, gender, hospital number, age, date of birth, and date of surgery. The manual is quite long and intimidating, but we strongly recommend that you read it in detail because it has important safety features that you should be aware of, and including uh, the function of each button on the set, uh, the type of power supply, and the safety features, and what kind of default that you might encounter during the lengthening process. If English is not your first language, this manual comes in different languages. We provide in our hospital in both English and Arabic, and we check the Arabic translation quite good. Uh, this is the Arabic version for it, and they can come in different uh, languages if you want. Uh, just ask us and we'll provide you with the language that suits you. Also, in the manual, there is what we call uh, the tables for uh, record keeping. And this is important, and we're going to talk about it in more details when we learn how to lengthen the bone using the control set. Uh, this is the control set. As you can see, there are three buttons, one button called Reset, one button called Patient, and one button called Doctor. And there's a screen there with the number zero on it. Whenever we press Reset, it will bring it back to zero, whatever the number there. And when we connect the machine to the power, the green button lit up. And now uh, we try to find the receiver and the skin. Usually we mark it with dark uh, purple color, as you can see that uh, circle on the skin. But we also check before we start the treatment that it still remain in the same place. Because sometimes shortly after the surgery they can move. We clean the transmitter uh, with alky wipe uh, to prevent infection. And we put it on the receiver. And then we get a stethoscope and listen over the patella for lengthening of the femur. Uh, we put the transmitter over the receiver. Then we start uh, lengthening by pressing the patient button. See, as you can see, I pressed on the patient button, but I couldn't hear anything or see anything because I didn't switch the machine on. When I switch it on, you can see the green light lit on. Then I press on the patient button. After that, you can see the orange light is going on every few seconds. And with that, not only the light going on, uh, getting on, also the number is increasing. This is a closer look up. You can see three. When the light lit up, it will become four, then five, until the nine. Once you completed nine, you completed one cycle of lengthening. I need to emphasize an important thing here, uh, the rising number, the flashing orange light, and hearing the engine through the stethoscope, these three things ensure that the lengthening of the process is going correctly. Uh, each nine pulses are equal to 0.3 millimeter. And if you repeat these nine pulses three times a day, it will give us a 0.9 of a millimeter, almost one millimeter. We sometimes speed 
this is a process if we see very good bone healing or the opposite sometimes we slow it if there is a slow bone healing please please don't try to speed it up yourself because it can cause a non-union or delayed union of the bone sometimes uh, for whatever reasons the machine doesn't reach nine pulses for example say it reaches five pulses only then you need to readjust it again and start again to record four more pulses to make a total of nine pulses and the same if it is different number and now we did the lengthening uh, it is time to document it uh, as i mentioned earlier there's a table in your uh, manual which we sent to you i use this for documentation and there are two versions there's arabic one and english one i'm going to give the english as an example the, f uh, the first month of lengthening suppose we started our lengthening in october so this is october underneath you can see the date from 1st of October to the end of the month and on the top these are the timing how many times during the day you're going to deliver the pulses you have one two three four five rarely we go more than five and most of the time we start with three only so suppose the first pulses we're going to give at say eight o'clock in the morning so eight a.m the second pulse we're going to give say around 3 p.m and the last one we're going to give uh, say 11 p.m so we started our lengthening on the third day of october so in the morning we managed to lengthen nine nine pulses you put it there and you come the second time which is 3 p.m and you managed to do nine and three again you manage to deliver nine four and five we are not lengthening now but sometime we do need to use it if it is if the bone healing very well and we need to speed the lengthening this one this column which is uh, how much we lengthen how much difference usually filled by the physician but the pain is status filled by you the patient on a scale of 10 how painful you are suppose when you lengthen it is three out of ten you put it there any particularities here for example you can say the second lengthening was delivered twice by this i mean initially delivered five then the machine disconnected then you have to add four or any any piece of information you want to tell us so uh, with this one we can keep a correct record of our lengthening process please bring this record uh, with you to every clinic visit in the clinic the doctor usually get an x-ray and do certain measurement to see that the lengthening we get on the x-ray is similar to what we expected from the diary or the log you kept if there's a difference uh, we'll check why this happened but also if the bone quality and the healing process is very good sometimes we speed the process as well uh, by speeding the process we means we add more length during the daytime for example let's see three times only a day we go to four times a day it is important to emphasize we need to be absolutely sure the length that happened correctly by this when we lengthen the orange light should be flashing and uh, number two the number is increasing up to nine and the sound of engine is audible by the stethoscope if all these correct so the length of process going correctly if anything is not right please please inform us now i want to emphasize that the uh, nail length in the bone but the physiotherapy length in the muscles and other tissues so it's really important to adhere to the physiotherapy exercises we have a protocol that would issue and usually our team knows these exercises but if you get your physiotherapy in your local area which is far from our hospital please please give them our physiotherapy rehabilitation protocol so that they follow it. but regardless what physiotherapy have at uh, the physiotherapy center we strongly encourage you to do the exercise that we're going to show in this video uh, we strongly encourage you to bend your hip uh, you lie on your back and lift your 
a leg at least 10 times and repeat this as many as you can. Here the videos are speeded up uh, for the sake of time. So you complete it 10 times on one side, then you do 10 times on the other side, and you repeat this process three or four times a day. Then you lie on your side and try to lift your leg upward when you're lying on the side. Again, you repeat it 10 times, and when you finish with one side, go to the other side and do it 10 times. And repeat the process uh, more. Then you lie on your belly and you lift your leg backward, as in this video. Again, you count 10, then you do the other side for another 10. While you lie on your belly, try to bend your knee another 10 times. You do one side 10 times, then you do the other side 10 times. Then when you are sitting, you try to extend your knees, either both of them at the same time or one at a time. Doesn't matter as long as you get them fully straight. Again, you do it for 10 times, the other side for 10 times, and try to repeat it as much as you can. The last exercise is that when you're sitting, try to bend your hip. Again, count 10 times and do the other side 10 times. And the next exercise is the ankle exercises, which is ankle bending upward and downward as much as you can go. And this to be repeated at least 10 times, a few times a day. It's important to emphasize these are not replacement for physiotherapy, but these are in addition for physiotherapy. And this is probably the most important things you can do to help your healing process. Here, this will take us to the end of our video. I hope you find it useful and wish your child lengthening to go very smooth.